The third lesson, brothers and sisters in Islam, and listen carefully to this one because this one aches, aches. Look, Allah says, وَنُرِيدُ أَنَّ مُنَّ عَلَى الَّذِينَ اسْتُضْعِفُوا فِي الْأَرْضِ وَنَجْعَلَهُمْ أَئِمَّةِ وَنَجْعَلَهُمُ الْوَارِثِينَ وَنُمَكِّنَ لَهُمْ فِي الْأَرْضِ وَيَرَى فِرْعَوْنُ وَهَامَانُ وَجُنُودُهُمَا مِنْهُمْ مَا كَانُوا يَحْذَرُونَ Those two verses come after Allah described the Pharaoh and what he does. He divided the people into sects, killing the newborn, allowing the girls to live. There is no husbands to marry them. That means they will be exposed to adultery. Huh? إِنَّهُ كَانَ مِنَ الْمُفْسِدِينَ Indeed, he was an oppressor. Now, we want to bring balance back. We want to empower the oppressed. We want to give the children of Israel power in earth again. Who is speaking here? إنما قوله إذا أراد شيئا أن يقول له كن. When he wants something to happen, be. But he's teaching you how it can be done. Look, وأوحينا إلى أم موسى أن أرضعي. And we reveal to the mother of Musa to breast feed. Your baby. You're oppressed. You want to be empowered. Guess who will do it? Your children. Oh. Subhanallah, ikhwah. Between Allah saying that we want to empower the children of Israel in earth, and actually it's happening 40 to 45 years. Musa, thrown in the will, picked up by the Pharaoh, he became a man. Then he went to Madian, spent 10 years, 40 to 45 years. The lesson here is the next generation. Empowering the new generation. Tarbiya. Bringing them up as Muslims. Keep them Muslims. Guard them. Create the environment for them to guard their fitrah. That's what we've been saying all the time, brothers and sisters in Islam. If you want to serve Islam, if you want to serve the children, if you want to serve the ummah, prepare your children. Prepare them. Make sure that they pray. Wallahi, I love a brother who brings his daughter or his little one and his son to the salah with us especially for fajr especially if they teach them also the etiquettes of the masjid don't break the door don't run around don't make noise huh? both fitra bringing up raising children muslim children we fail to do this i'm sorry that's why i want to talk about schools when i talk about community centers because this is ya ikhwa you cannot bring up Muslim children the way that non-Muslims bring their children. You can't. You cannot. You know why? Because the objectives are different. Read the literature. What is the objective of raising children with the non-Muslims? All of it gathered to bring up a person who is able to adapt to the condition of the society to be happy. If smoking a joint will make him happy, that's fine. If he's getting high to make him happy, that's fine. If sleeping with, with women, it may make him, that's the objective of bringing up children with non-Muslims. What about Islam? One objective. Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu. You're bringing up your children to save them from the hellfire. That means they have to be servants to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
Some of the brothers they say, "Tell me, the Sheikh Mutahamil, kida على ال the West, the West are the top of the line of civilization." Ya Habibi, Wallahi, I love you. Any civilization, any progress, has two faces: moral, material. Yes, they are top of the line material. IT, CPU, iPhone. Yes. Up there, yes. Nuclear bomb, yes. But moral, down. Men can marry one another. Women can marry one another. Oh, read what happened to the Roman Empire. How did it fall down? Huh? If you want to know how the Muslims got out of Al-Andalus, read what they did. Al-Andalus, Spain used to be a Muslim country. Because of the moral, start singing and drinking and mixing and falsafa aflam hindi. Any civilization has two fronts: moral, moral, and material. Yes, they are top of the line material-wise, but moral down. And I'm telling you, read throughout history. If you do not maintain a moral front, it will go down. And that's our job, you know. That's we come to America and we benefit from their social security number. We benefit from their welfare. Maybe we can offer them something like that. I'm telling you, if there is an ethnic group in this country who can help this country, is you by maintaining your moral front, your moral culture, which is coming to you from Islam. But we're acting like them. We're like them. ما من تشبه بقوم فهو منهم أقول قولي هذا وأستغفر الله لي